Good morning. I'm Val and my voice is very coarse. I feel like I can't even speak. I have allergies kind of right now because of the weather. But that is not what this video is about. Oh my god, I'm so tired. My brain is literally just scrambled eggs and smushed up thoughts. Today is my first day of university and that's very scary. Scary in the I am going to a building with people in it, people that I don't know. I actually started uni one year ago during COVID and my first semester was completely offline. It was during lockdown. My second semester was still also offline. And then my third semester, I took a break because I was working on a lot of projects. I wrote a book, <laughs> did many other things. And this is technically my fourth semester, but it's really my third. I've never been to my university, like never. I literally feel like a child on their first day of school, but having no parents and nobody guiding them. <laughs> I feel like most people have already gone through this, this little weird feeling of already having studied but like not having studied in a real location. I study comparative literature in Berlin and I technically study political science but I'm about to change my second major. It's weird because it's like a second major but it's also a minor. I don't understand it, but I want to change it because I didn't re really like it. I have some other interests, but I haven't really figured out what I want to switch it to. Hey Leute, ein kleiner Einschub an dieser Stelle. Und zwar sitze ich gerade an der Bearbeitung des Videos. Mein Kanal ist ja eigentlich auf Deutsch. Ich habe aber in meinem letzten Video schon erwähnt, dass ich gerne mehr englische Videos machen möchte. Ich dachte mir, ich probiere das einfach mal aus. Kommentiert einfach mal, wie euch das Video gefällt. <lacht> Right now I just have to organize a little bit because I haven't done anything. My first class today is at 12. It was really my plan to clean up my room before today, but that didn't happen. In the mornings, I usually like to listen to audiobooks or podcasts. Right now I'm listening to a very long in-depth interview with uh, Gregor Gysi. He is a very interesting um, leftist politician in Germany. He was also a politician before Germany was reunited. So living and working in the DDR. I don't know how, what it's called in English. I think it's called something else. Hey Siri. Keinen Blog von dir haben. Ich war noch nicht back to school shopping. They just said something really interesting and it's about the topic of speaking and rhetoric and about the fact that we don't really have good speakers in politics in Germany. Gerigo Gysi, he, um, because he's such a good speaker and he also wrote a book about rhetoric, he gave a, a reason for that. He said that Germany as a country, especially in the 1950s and 60s, was really afraid of good political speakers because Josef Goebbels, who was really high in the Nazi regime, as well as Adolf Hitler, but particularly Goebbels, was a very, very talented public speaker and political speaker. After the founding of the German Republic, people and politicians alike were really scared of being like that because the danger of propaganda in a society was still very evident and people still really felt the after effects. I'm gonna straighten my hair now and yeah, I just packed all my stuff. <laughs> Die kurze Frage so, wenn ich da jetzt irgendjemand sehe, den ich sympathisch finde, so rede ich jetzt an oder so. Where is my car? Well, anyways, the weather is really beautiful. Oh, I kind of have a long drive and I'm also kind of late. It's really stupid because I woke up three hours before my class and it's like a 30 minute drive there. My university is kind of more on the outskirts and I live in the city center. I don't know the building. I don't know where I have to go. I don't know what I have to do. I'm getting really anxious right now and it's a very specific feeling because I haven't felt it since I was 
15, I think. I did an exchange year in Las Vegas. The feeling of just like getting into a room and not knowing anybody and wondering if there's gonna be like cliques or people who know each other, being nervous about speaking to people. Oh my God, I'm so late and so lost. There's so many people and I don't know why it's so dark. <laughs> My first impression is it's huge. I'm overwhelmed. It actually starts at 12.15, so I'm fine. People look nice. There's only like seven people already there, but I'm just like, hi. I'm so uncomfortable. My first class right now, it's about Oedipus, uh, the tragedy by Sophocles. Also like modern reception of psychoanalysis and Freudian literature. It's very up my alley, but I cannot focus. <laughs> I'm waiting for a friend because I have to pick up um, my boyfriend's suit because we're going to see uh, Ballet by Balanchine. I really, really enjoyed the class. We got our whole semester plan. At first, we're going to read Oedipus Rex by Sophocles and going to analyze it for three sessions. And then we're going to focus on Freud. We're going to read most of the semester. We're going to read different texts by Freud. It's mostly about um, kind of the intersection between psychoanalysis and literature, what I kind of tried to explain this morning, but didn't work so well. Tomorrow I have my uh, literary theory class and I have a class on post, I don't, I forgot, it's something about rooms and post. Maybe postmodernist room theory or something like that. It's a bit funky, but I'm excited. So right now I'm just gonna head home. Hello, it's Tuesday now. No, it's actually Wednesday. <laughs> it was Easter on Monday. I feel like it's Tuesday because yesterday it felt like a Monday. I had a really, really beautiful evening at the opera. It was so, so good. Now I have to go to university in like an hour. I'm just preparing and organizing some things. That was it for the vlog. I hope you liked it. I gave you a lot of kisses from 